Hey guys, welcome back to another reaction. Let's shift gear to the animation department with the second trailer for Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse. I really, really look forward to this movie. Um, you know, the teaser and the first trailer looked amazing, right? Uh, and they got the voice talent, the animation style. I cannot, you know, stretch this enough. But the animation is just so cool. You know, it's not it's not like high tech Pixar like three D. Um, like the attention to details, they're there, but it's not like they're. I don't think they are shooting for realism with this style. This is, you know, more. Um, I guess similar to like the late 90s early 2000s type of uh, animation it's 3d but it looks like hand-drawn is instead of like CGI you know what I mean and it's very appealing to me so and you know by playing that um, spider-man game on ps4 I kind of fell in love with the character of uh, Miles Morales and uh, Really happy that he got his own movie in this one. So here we go, guys. Boom. What makes you? I saved the city, fell in love, then I saved the city again and again and again. Look, I'm a comic book, a serial, I get a Christmas album, and a social <laughs> But this isn't about me. <laughs> I'm getting the Lego Batman type of vibe, where it's kind of meta. <laughs> hey guys, who are you? I'm Gwen Stacy. I'm from another another dimension. This looks so fun. This could literally not get any weirder. It has Spider Ham. Okay. Nice. Oh, Noir Spider Man. Thank you. Prowler, Kingpin, is that Scorpion? How old is Peter Parker in this movie? Do animals talk in this dimension? Because I don't want to freak them out. Uh, this look pure, like pure fun. Gosh, I cannot wait. Look at that poster. All of them swinging. Oh, Noir Spider-Man. <sighs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. I don't know if they're gonna do if this because this is not really an adaptation of the Spider-Verse comics because if, if it was it would include a lot more Spider-Man and woman it would include the character the vampire uh, Moreland right um, yeah, and his gang. It would include uh, Cindy Moon as the new Spider Woman. Is, is that is that correct? Am I remember that correctly, or I'm just making this up in my head? It's been a while since I re since I read uh, Spider Verse. That being said, uh, this movie looks phenomenal. the uh, The animation style is phenomenal. The voice acting is incredible. Um, how old is, is Peter Parker? He looks like 40. He, he's 40. Um, they got Haley Seinfeld. Haley Seinfeld, right? Or Steinfeld. Haley Steinfeld. My bad. Haley Steinfeld. 
to voice Gwen Stacy. That's awesome. Um, and I'm getting that um, I'm getting that Lego Batman type of vibe, where it's kind of meta, like it acknowledged everything that happened in past movies. You see Spider Man, Peter Parker stopping the train like Spider Man uh, Two, um, the car being thrown at him in in, uh, in the restaurant. Um, what else? And uh, <laughs> making a, a Christmas song and being the popsicle. He's even acknowledged his own comic book. That's pretty cool. Um, never mind. Uh, wow, guys, I am blown away. And of course, Miles Morales. You know, I'm not gonna spoil what happened to him and his family in the PS4 game, but gosh. Such a good, such a good character, and kind of surprised that it took that long for, for Sony and for Marvel to to make a movie about him. He's he's a bit of a fan favorite, Miles Morales. Miles Morales, um, you know I. He was never my favorite. Like I appreciate him. I like him. I think he's a good character with a lot of potential, but he was never like my favorite. You know. I like him, but not that much type of character. But after that game, and hopefully after this movie, he's going to climb, you know, right, climb, no pun intended, climb right up there in my top 10, top 5 superheroes. Because this character is really cool. You just need to, you know, just need to, to, to be in the right medium. Somebody's coming down. I I, I told you I. I ha. <sighs> okay. Sorry, guys. Bye.